Here's a quick demonstration on how to access the hidden diagnostics menu on modern Ford vehicles. This particular car is a Ford Fiesta Mark 7 and by accessing the diagnostics menu it allows you to well run diagnostics to check out the, the functions of the, the meters and the LEDs on the dash but one of the things I like about it is it has a digital um, speedometer and a digital tag meter which can be handy at times um, a digital speedo can be um, useful for avoiding uh, speeding fines because they are a lot more uh, precise than, uh, than the analog one that we have here um, and that is very useful in Britain where everyone drives at the speed limit of 30 mph through build up areas and that's also where a lot of get so cameras are deployed so anyway um, let's get started so the first thing that we need to do is to start from a clean state so let's assume that We've come into a vehicle that's uh, sorry, a Ford vehicle that's um, just been unlocked. So I'm going to lock the doors and then unlock the door. So I've got my driver's door open now. I just shut it. So the first thing you do is to put the key in to the ignition, but not to turn it on. And then what we need to do is to hold this button down and this is the, obviously the button that changes between the odometer and the trip meter and blah 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 so I'm going to hold that down then I'm going to start the engine now to do this I'm going to have to put the uh, my phone uh, down so I can use my other hand to start the engine so I'm going to do that Now that the engine is started, I'm going to keep holding this button down for approximately 10 seconds. And then it brings up the test menu and we're in. So if I press it the first time, it goes into gauge test mode, which tests or the gauge, the gauges or rather, on the dash. So that's done now. And the second one I believe is LED. Uh, no, actually this um, just, um, what do you call that, turns on every single digit on the LCD display so you can see if any of them are not working. Um, and the next one will be the LED test LED so that illuminates all the LEDs on the dash so you can see if um, anyone isn't... Um, isn't illuminated then you know it's some um, it's damage right let's just skip through all the options because a lot of them are a bit oblivious to the, the uh, layman so if you um, need further information on what these are it's best to ask uncle G online um, so yep just do a quick query and there'll be a lot of um, well, yeah, there'll be a number of hits that will list out what uh, these are. So anyway, I'm just going to go through uh, the options. And the next one, I believe, uh, that's what we want. Uh, digital speedo. So, this is an MPH speedo. Um, so we can leave it in this mode and start driving. Now, just be aware that whatever value is displayed here, is in um, multiples of 0.1 therefore the display will read 300 mph when you're actually doing just uh, 30 um, 
Yep, I believe there there isn't um there isn't decimal point that appears there. Um, so it's, that's probably because the L, this LCD isn't designed for this purpose. So if I press it again, it will give me a kph uh, speedo instead of mph. And if I press it again. I'm not sure what that is, but eventually I'll get to a, a digital tachymeter. That's the one. So that, as you can see, that corresponds to the analog tachymeter on the left. So if I rev the engine up to just over 1000 RPM, you see it rising at the digital gauge as well. So they are many screens which we can go through but I'll stop right here